well, okay, maybe she's had a little too much tea. Hold on. Hey everybody, it's the Doll Circle, and yes, we are still in Claudina's lair. Holla holla. <laughs> and we are opening up something Honestly, I'll say vintage. It is, it is a throwback. Um, so my apartment flooded again. This is the third time. Um, I think it's because the apartment is on a hill. So like anytime there's water, like it's just a whole thing. So this got wet. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some water damage. She's some little mm -hmm. inside speckling to the plastic. So <laughs> sad. But we figured since it got damaged anyway, we will unbox it in our ever after high looks. And this is actually, I think the last time I checked was still available on Amazon, which is really Might wild. Be. I mean, it's obviously more than I think there was retail, but it is does come with a doll and it does come with a playset. And I actually have never opened this on the channel oh, because okay. I only own just the playset that I got um, thrifted for like $3, mm. but I don't have anything that comes with it. So this is very exciting yeah. for me because I've never had this before. And on the back of the packaging, I guess you can do three different rooms. Um, so you can do like the dorm room for Raven, a Wonderland high moment, and then a queen of hearts party thing it's a giant box like it's a good size place that's very weighty so i'm excited to get it out of the box yeah all right so it is built and it is large it is it is pretty sizable um there's <laughs> so it comes apart where like you just take one panel out right and then you can close it yeah you can like so the panels have hinges and you can unhinge the panels and then switch the panels around depending on how you want to kind of do it and i thought that was kind of interesting you just can't close it when all the panels are connected like the door and then this outside one um which i kind of don't like because i would rather just have everything that you can right. hold and close i thought it was very strange yeah but the pieces are cute it's such though. a beautiful place that like the baroque styling on the outside is really well done there's like filigree all over the, the even the clock. cards like look at the cards like yeah, they're super so designed detailed. there's little logos of oh i'm not even afraid little logos of all the ever after high like it just had a really really you can tell they put so much thought into it and for 40 dollars and it comes with a doll is insane to me i mean i could see like just this piece alone being like 40 dollars not as a toy but as like some type of like alice in wonderland home decor Yes. I feel like, yeah, I feel like a lot of their play sets are very home decor looking. Yes. Or whimsical yes, home decor. Yes. Yes. For sure. And then we came with a cute little raven and a stand. Yeah, and it came and with a stand, stand, which I thought, I forgot that play sets came with stands. I forgot that was a, a thing at a time. Okay. Not my favorite raven, but. No, she's very basic, but for $40 back in the day, I mean, that's crazy to me that she's got all of this and this big play set and two tables, two chairs, and a mirror for that cost. Like that's insane to me. I do love her yeah. shoes, but then again, all of her after her shoes were always really cute yeah. until the end. Of course, they kind of fizzled out. I do like the little card design here. I think she's really pretty, but I do agree she's not my favorite. They do have the blue streak in the hair and I kind of, I like when they start adding different colors to her. Yeah, the teal I think matches her. Like I love Dragon Games Raven. Looking at her, like the faces are very interesting um, in comparison to what we might get today if Ever After High were to return. I love the teacups. I think that's yes, my favorite. Yes, I didn't of the realize there were chairs. Like you can sit in them. Like at first I was like, oh, it's kind of weirdly angled. Which you could leave them angled like this, but they actually can sit in it. Oh my gosh. Oh well, okay. Maybe she's had a little too much tea. Hold on. Okay. Oh, well, you know what? It's supposed to be a chair. Hold you get the concept. Maybe she needs two. No, no, she doesn't. <laughs> she's not with it for that chair. It's, the base is very small where she's supposed to stick her bottom on to sit, but that's what it's supposed to look like. It's like yeah. this. So the theory is there. Um, it does come with this little foldy mirror, which is very simple. But again, even to this, like has so much design on the back. I was mm -hmm. like, that's crazy to me. And then I wonder if we can flip this around to show everybody. Yeah. Like, look at all the floaty pieces here. That's really crazy to me. Like, all the pieces are detachable because there's little pegs and you can stick all the pegs on there. And there's one scene that looks like uh, the Red Queen. And then this one's supposed to be, I guess, just a generic Well, this is scene. the, the so then, in the movie, it's the Red Queen's birthday party and they're trying to save the Red Queen. So this is her birthday party. And then this, this whole thing. I think Raven's dorm on this side, they said. Yeah, it looks like okay, Raven's so it's like dorm. Each side's a little different. Um, and then this part is Wonderland High, where they're trying to escape Wonderland High in the movie. And, and it does look like they that. came with the Storybook of Legends, which is, I this is like technically the only real Storybook of Legends that was in that 
the no, other, yeah, because I don't think any of the other placelets came with it. Or it dolls. was just the um, the Legacy Day ones, but then in the show, we find out that that was all fake. Like, those were fake Storybook mm. of Legends. So, fun fact. Hmm. I do like, again, the overall design on this. And, like, I just love this front piece. Even down to this little knot. You know, it just, like, again, looks like a clock. It's very yeah. intricate. It's very well made. I just feel like this is only, what, 2015? 2016 no 2016 right around that time i think it was 2015 and it's like it feels like a lifetime ago because now you look at play sets and the quality for like barbie for example is definitely not at this level this was 2014 and it's just but yes <laughs> um the mm -hmm. i think 2013 2014 was like mattel's like golden era mm -hmm. for me as a collector just because it was monster high and ever after high at the same time and you can just see like how much detail they put into yeah. their play things <clears throat> I know. I do miss that time. The simpler time. Yeah. The fun times of doll collecting. But at least this is still available for a reasonable price. So I feel like if you are wanting some ever after high in your life and you don't want to spend an exorbitant amount, I mean, this is still, I feel like, a really good value because you do get a lot of things with it. And it's, I don't know, it's nice to open up. Now I kind of want to open up more ever after high stuff and yeah. relive our little you know eight year ago moment i know <laughs> which is so crazy to think but and yeah like i guess i i still like her even though her outfit is quite simple compared to the other ravens of that time i think she's still really pretty i like the blue eyeshadow I feel like, she always do blue eyeshadow no she had like black and like a smoky purple and stuff so it's kind of cute i just love the articulation on them like the detail of the shoes they always did so good yeah the the, the so articulation good. was good on them these, these were really good stop motion dolls really fun to work with um you know i think this was during the era where they stopped painting their accessories because one of the things that i loved about the first wave ever after high yes. is like they were painted in such an interesting way like you could just tell the designers really thought out little details and not that they didn't hear but like it was just really meticulous i could thought. tell that they cut the budget on a few things yeah and which is like the headpiece movie would have been painted or that would have been painted on the older ones which is like because it's in a play down. set like yeah. that's otherwise it would cost like 60 dollars. but with the play set like looking at this to think that somebody illustrated this whole background like somebody had to go and do the illustration for this um somebody had to do like the 3d mock-up for this whole play set i can understand the mm -hmm. intricacy of it I love it. I highly recommend it. And throw in the comments below, do you miss Ever After High? I know I do. Like, that was such a good yeah, time. It was, like, it was such a good time in collecting. Because, like, I, like, I agree. It was, like, monsters and, fan, like, fairy, fairy tales, tales all at the same time. And then it was, like, Barbie life in the dream house. Oh. So, like, it was just Mattel was in their prime during that time. And I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. I, honestly, it's because Frozen came out and Shopkins took over. Honestly, yeah. Because Shopkins was really popular. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it sounds like a deep dive video or Shop something. It's like yeah, Shop how Shopkins and and uh, Frozen killed dolls. Surprise toys <laughs> just ruined everything. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good theory though. So let us know what you think. This is a lot of fun. I really want to open up more Ever After High stuff. So we'll see in the future if we end up doing more of that. So yeah. thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. See ya.